hi guys today i'm going to show you how to do a nuclei segmentation histopathological images using the modified unit architecture so uh, this is the histopathological images input image you can see the nuclei inside the particular image so this is the ground truth this is the segmented outcome this is the uh, we are marking it by green color so we are going to just segment the nuclei present in the histopathological image so i will show you how to do that one first we have to open the folder you can create one folder and you can take the data set so inside the data set you can keep both the original image here you can keep the original image here you can keep the mask images so these are the data sets we can keep it in a two separate folder now we are go i'll show the program how to do that one first we have to read both the images and the mask according to the uh, path of the map, path of the data set then we are just taking stacking all the images with the help of image data store then we are just displaying the image so what are the image we are taking for training everything has been displayed then we are just taken two classes nuclei and background and giving the label values and the label ids then just taking the pixel label data store also just displaying that also then uh, we are just finding the we are giving the input parameters like image size number of classes uh, and how many encoder depth used for the unit layer so this is for the unit architecture once we design the layer we are going to give the training options for training so here we given the training options here we are doing the training here so it is training based upon the nuclei and background uh, according to the mask value so this is the normal unit so this is the uh, this is the modified unit so we we created the unit model architecture if, uh, three encoders three stage encoder then uh, we added some extra layers here also we are added we are changing the number of filters size of the filter and some hyper parameters also we are tuning the unit model so we are getting um, somewhat better uh, better architecture here after modifying the unit model finally the model this is the model we will be getting here real graph so this is the modified unit model here also we are doing the training and uh, finally after training we are uh, just uh, loading our input data onto mask and we are checking how the system is performing so now i'll run the program first just you can click the run button Now the program has started to run. So for every segmentation in, in deep learning we need original as well as the mask image. So mask image is nothing but it's a binary image. It's corresponding to the segmented portion of the original image. Now the training labels are displayed. These are the training labels or mask. Then the training has been started. The input has been normalized. I just given the number of epoch is 1 but at, uh, I think number of epoch 10. At least we need to give 100 epochs so that only the network will learn the features much better. So for the, I don't have much time, that's why I just given the number of epoch 10. Now we started to run. The accuracy is increasing and the loss is decreasing. So it's learning something from the training data. Some features like low level, medium level and high level features. So it is differentiate the background and the nuclei. So it is learning the things from the background, how the background looks like, how the nuclear looks like. That, uh, 
that has been happened during the time of training. Here when you need to use the GPU, uh, that's why it's getting little faster. If you use the CPU means you will be getting more delay. It will take time to complete the training. Anyway, I just given 10 epoch only. So once the training is completed, we will be having the model, trained model. And with the help of that trained model, we can test our data. So let it complete. So once we get the trained model, we are just storing that model and loading it. Uh, again, then we are going for testing. So this, these are the testing data. Loading all the data up one after that uh, using the for loop we are reading the data one by one also we are reading the ground truth for checking the difference so, between the original and segmented unit model so let it run in the meanwhile I'll just scroll down the full program Finally, the performance can be calculated like accuracy, sensitivity and specificity like that. Once I am scrolling the program. I think now the training has been completed. Now the testing is going on for multiple images. So it is taking the testing data one by one and doing the segmentation. Now the result is displaying. So this is the outcome result so this is the first one is the input image then this is the ground truth this is the segmented outcome this is the segmented outcome we are just uh, 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 we are just uh, indicating the green color of the uh, indicating the green color of the all the nuclei you can see it here multiple data here so this is the another outcome input ground truth unit model indicated by the nuclear has been indicated by this green color so almost we are getting better result but still some hmm, accuracy not up to the mark because we just ran it for only 10 epoch we have to run we have to run it for at least 100 epoch so this is the um, yeah this is the uh, modified unit for nuclei segmentation uh, one more thing i'll show you now i'm going to show you the exudate detection in the fundus images also. Well, I'll open that one. Yes, uh, this is for the exudate detection of fundus images. The same image, uh, the same method we used, but you can see the result. Uh, this is the input ground truth and segmented and the uh, segmented uh, mark uh, segmented result with the some markings so you can see that but it's not that much accuracy because i just train it for little epoch if you train with more, more number of eq you will be getting good result so the same method only we just take the unit model 
just modify it or uh, fine tune that unit model by modifying the hyperparameter or some uh, adding some layers and removing some, some layers will be getting this result so i hope you understand everything little bit so you can you can use this code for your model also now i'll explain once again the full code so it's nothing but it just you can take data set and you can load those images after loading you have to mention your the classes then you can load the pixel label that means the mask area once you loaded you can give the number of uh, 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 frequency how much the background pixels and how much how many foreground pixels then you can give your initial parameters like input image size number of classes to here depth then you can load the unit layer then after that you can provide the training option then you can train the model so this is the normal unit this is the modified unit we manually we design this network so once you train the model you can go for testing this is the test images some images for testing this is the ground truth finally take one for loop and read all those images then do the segmentation here so here only we are doing the semantic segmentation i and the net tone net tone is the trained model then we are checking which are the pixels is background or foreground based upon that one we are just converting into binary finally we will be having the out, uh, segmented out so i hope you understood understood something so if any doubt means you can ask me uh, but uh, sharing the code is charge applicable for sharing the code but you can use this code and uh, uh, you can uh, uh, use the code for your application as well so because it's a lot of effort to make this code so you can if you want means you can uh, type everything line by line and uh, you can get your result also thank you thanks for watching